Hey everybody. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about a game that we uh, we play that focuses on striking in standard one of the shape standards uh, with particular reference to badminton. And right now we're uh, this class is working on serving. Uh, this game is called Ruler of the Court. And as you can see, hula hoops are set up in the middle of the gym. Uh, and only one hoop has space in between. And I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so the person that they are standing across from, that's the person that they're really serving against. Both uh, students here have birdies, and they'll both be serving to the hoop. Now, uh, let's focus on this student here. He's going to serve and try and get it into this hoop. If he's able to do that, when he runs into the middle, he's going to hold up one finger, letting the student across from him know that he's just scored a point. At the end of the two minutes, okay, because that's how long each round, uh, at least that I play for, is at the end of the two minutes, the student that has more points would move on to the court next to him or her, okay, or the hula hoop next to him or her. Now, this would be the last hoop, okay? The hoop that they want to get to, that's all the way down here, the one that I said had a little bit more space. We call that the ruler court, okay? You can call it king and queen court. Um, really, that's your preference, but this is the court where you can earn your points, all right? So if a student is starting out here, like all the way at the last hoop, you might be asking yourself, how do they get all the way down there? So at the end of the two minutes, the student that has more points would stay standing. Okay, The student that has uh, less points would immediately sit down. I try and teach that we rotate as quickly as possible. That way we get um, a lot of movement going. Let's say, for instance, this student here uh, had more points than my student in the blue sweatshirt okay and on the orange court let's say she was standing at the end of the two minutes she had more points what happens is you replace the spot of the person that uh, had more points next to you so for instance he had the most points on this uh, blue hula hoop and she had the most on this orange game so he would replace her spot at orange. Now, she doesn't come backwards, okay? We all just replace down one hoop, okay? So whoever has more points replaces down, 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 down until we get to the uh, ruler court. Now, here, this is the only court where the winner does not move. The winner stays, Okay, so let's say, for instance, she uh, she won on the ruler court. She's going to stay. The person that had the least amount of points would come all the way down to the last spot. And that's how it kind of starts over again. And you have to work your way all the way back up to this ruler spot. The reason why I like this game is I found that students, when they're striking badminton, they tend to stand very upright. And so they're, they're, when they strike, the birdie goes straight up in the air. By having a target that's low on the ground, it forces them to angle their body. Okay. Now, this is a really fast-moving game. So um, I think I have a GIF that you would be able to see um, in animation what it looks like uh, in, in movement. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so as you can see, each student, after they strike, they run back to the line. See, he's angled here, has a nice serve going into the hoop, um, and he's coming right back trying to do it again, and they go again and again and again. So in two minutes, uh, you know, there's a lot of movement here. I like it because not only are they working on this skill and there's a lot of focus and aim, but uh, there's also a lot of, um, uh, you know, teachable moments here that 
badminton is not just a game for in school, that this can be played at any time, at any age, really. So I hope you enjoy, and I hope this helps you when you teach striking in badminton.